Today I'll be showing you how I painted some Dark Eldar HQs. I got all these figures by Proxy War on Etsy. They got some really cool sculpts and I'll probably be buying more from them. I got a Humunculus and a full Core of the Archon. So I got a Medusa, a Lamian, I got two Lamians actually, a Slif, and an Urgul. As well as a Banner Guy because of course I did. After a primer of gray, I painted all the silver areas with chainmail silver, later going back with some of them for darker silver with oily steel by Vallejo. Paint the girl girl's flesh with wolf gray by Army Painter. Painted a bunch of areas with Wraith Bone by Citadel. You could also just use Pale Sand. Go over all the scales except for his front scales with Snake Bite Leather on the Slith. Paint a bunch of areas purple with Blue Violet by Vallejo. Paint all the skin areas, whatever you want. But for the Medusa, I went with Pink Horror by Citadel. Paint whatever hair they have, whatever color you want. Paint the banner guy how I just usually paint a Cabalite Warrior, mostly black with orange. I made the banner a tricolor of Lava Orange by Army Painter to represent the Cabals of the Dark Eldar. Blue Violet for the Witch Cults. And Black Red by Vallejo for the Covens. With black and pink being a unifying color for the army. I later put on an Eldar transfer. Paint some sick green by Vallejo on the Lamians. I actually used very sparingly squid pink by Vallejo on these guys. Paint their bases Lupercal green by Citadel. There are some mechanical details jutting out the back of the Urgul, so I painted the outline of his skin on these open areas with dark Prussian blue and shaded his back with purple tone by Army Painter, and the rest of him with blue tone. I also got some Turbo Dork Shifter paints. They look really nice, but I don't think I really used them right, because I used Romeo Juliet, pink to purple tone, and it didn't really work out. It just looks like a really nice metallic pink, because I didn't do the Xenophall right. And I used Twin Sun, which is blue to green, and it sort of worked on the Lamian sword here. And some gold areas with Retributor Armor, Paint a couple bony areas in the rattle on the slip with Dark Sand by Vallejo. And do your appropriate Dark Wash, Sepia Wash, Brown Wash. And after a matte varnish, here they are. And here's the Core of the Archon with a official Plastic Archon by GW. I think the sculpts work really well together. Oh yeah, and on my slip, uh, one of the sword hands broke off in shipping and I kind of lost it, so I just used one of these weird punch sword things from the witch's kit. But what do you guys think? You think they turned out alright? Do you not? You think about picking up these figures? You have different ways of using these guys? Or different ways to represent these guys? Do you have the official figures? Let me know in the comments below.